I teach this concept to a lot of my students and how you can start breaking this down is if you first think of it as a chord progression. So the chords involved, they're all going to be your bar chords rooted off the A string. So the first chord, we're going to be looking at this F minor, F sharp minor, sorry, based here off the ninth fret. That's the first chord. And then the second chord, then that same shape moves up to the fourth fret, so it's C sharp minor. And then we move up a half step to D major. And then we slide that same shape up to the 10th fret, which gives us A major. Then back to F sharp minor. Back to C sharp minor. And then back to D major. So the progression. So let's watch John now play through it and we'll break down the riff and, you know, go into the theory a bit more. So we start off with this F sharp minor. Now what John's doing, this is all played off the A string and the B string. Now from each chord, he's playing the root and the third, whether that's the minor third or the major, major third, depending on what chord you're on. So if we take this first chord, this F sharp minor, and we just play the A and the B string, then you get these two notes. It's a bit more comfortable to play it with your first finger and your ring finger, but it's, you know, it's entirely up to you. So from that whole chord shape, just the A and the B string, that's the first part, and then it moves up to the C sharp minor, it does exactly the same thing. You can add a little bit of vibrato on each of the strings just for you know it sounds cool and then it moves up to the D major so again we're doing the same thing it's the A and the B string but now this the B string the note that we're on the B string for the first two chords that moves up a half step and that's coming from your major chord so there's your D major the A in the B string, there's your root, and on the B string you've got this note, which is your major third. So this note just moves up. When it's next door, it's the minor third. Up a half step is the major third. And then that moves up to A major off the 10th fret, so it's the same shape. And then back to F sharp minor. changes it up a little bit on the last one and I'll go over that in a minute. So back to the beginning, so we've got F sharp minor to C sharp minor to D major up to A major back to F sharp minor C sharp minor and then on the last time round on that D major, he grabs a third with his second finger, his middle finger, and it's a bit of a stretch. And then he hammers on with his pinky, also on the B string, the ninth fret, and pull off. Now that, if you've not done that before, it's probably going to kick your ass a bit, so you've just got to practice. I mean, you don't have to do it, you can just go... repeat and if you're having trouble with that last bit I would suggest just practicing that bit on its own if you
you can do it easier with your first and your ring finger and then reach over with your pinky you know by all means do that I find it easier to stretch these two even though this is difficult I find the hammer on pull off a bit easier John, we'll do it one more time. So if you learn the concept and the fact that it comes from these chords then you can do this with any other chord progression you know using them your know, same form bar chords um, you know you, know, you might recognize that that's that's done on the same using the same chords I've just done for for this one um, for scar tissue with scar tissue it uses uh, the chords all in one position but you can do it all from the a rooted chord so you got F C to D minor so you've got F there's the full chord C C major and then D minor John goes into more examples in this video, which I might I might do another video on where he's you know doing other chord shapes and using other strings, and it gets a lot more complicated and it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Cheers.